we're going to continue working on the Asus laptop that we worked on yesterday and we deemed it a no fix because of a possible GPU or VRAM issue. Let me just briefly go over the motherboard and show you what we did in case you have not watched yesterday's video. We started by measuring the DC MOSFET right here and we detected a short right on the drain of the MOSFET. And then I said, let's try to fix the motherboard without using a thermal camera. We went down to the V-Core circuit, the CPU V-Core circuit. We measured all those MOSFETs and none of them were the cause of the short. We kept going on and we also measured the MOSFETs that you see right here. And it turned out that we had a short circuit on this MOSFET and this MOSFET. We measured in ohms mode right here and right here and this one measured a lower resistance than this one so we started with this MOSFET and by removing the MOSFET we got rid of the short. So we replaced the MOSFET and then as soon as we plugged the laptop in the charging light came on for about three seconds and then it went back off and the laptop would not power on. Dead, like before. I brought the motherboard back and I measured the same MOSFET that was shortened to ground and it turned out that the MOSFET shorted out again. So what I did, I was trying to figure out the cause of the short. I measured the drivers on back of the board. I went through every single one of those chips, measured them all and did not find anything obvious. Now in the comments, I posted the video last night and in the comments, we had many suggestions and I always read comments and there were a lot of times where I posted a no fix and by reading your comments I was able to fix that device again. We have a very active community, I always mention it. We have an amazing community. People learn and they give back. So some of the suggestions were to measure the resistors because if there is a resistor that's somehow not good, it's gonna cause that MOSFET to blow. I never in my life seen a bad resistor here, but I took your suggestions and I went over the resistors and every single one of them measured good. Every single one of them. I measured all the resistors here and also resistors that you see on top here. All of them measured good. So I had to go to front of the board again and I'm still convinced that the problem could be possibly the GPU, VRAM or even the CPU. I kept reading the comments and I came across one comment that made me scratch my head. That person may be right. And I've seen that happen before, but I did not do it yesterday. Let me go over the comment quick. And the comment is by a long time viewer of the channel. And the person who loved the comment is Michael Black. Michael is a long time follower of the channel and he always leaves comments on our videos. And Michael wrote, the MOSFETs are connected in parallel and when one fails, the other one needs to be changed as well. The comment makes a lot of sense and I've seen that happen before, but we did not do it on this board. Yesterday, what we did is we removed this MOSFET and that MOSFET was causing the short. Before we were reading a short here and a short here and by removing this MOSFET, we got rid of the short. So this MOSFET was not reading a short anymore. So I automatically assumed that this, this and this are good because they no longer had a short. By replacing this MOSFET, reassembling the board, plug in the charging cable, this MOSFET went short again and it caused the other one to short out as well. Right now, if we go over the MOSFETs and we measure, I just want to confirm that we have a short circuit on both of them, meter and diode mode. And if we measure right here, we have a short. And if we measure right here, we have a short. If we go to resistance mode and we measure at the gate, I'm reading 14.7 ohms and here I'm reading 14.5 ohms. Yesterday this MOSFET was reading lower than this one in resistance mode. Now it's vice versa. Anyway, let me go over the MOSFET that we replaced yesterday. I'm going to remove it and see if that will release our short. We do not want to replace this MOSFET and try the laptop again because this MOSFET is going to end up shorting out again. We're going to go by Michael's suggestion where we replace both MOSFETs and we'll see what happens. That may or may not fix the problem. Let's get rid of this MOSFET and we're going to measure again to see if we still have a short. Just like we did yesterday, by removing the MOSFET we got rid of the short. 
and we assumed the rest of the MOSFETs were good. If we measure here, and look at this, we no longer have a short. I was measuring in resistance mode. Let me go to the IED mode. Measure here. 0.418 voltage drop. And look at this. We no longer have a short on the first MOSFET. When this one was on, we had a short here and here. Now by removing this one, we no longer have a short. So Michael said, why don't you remove the first MOSFET and replace it as well? And that's what we will be doing in this video to see if Michael's suggestion will solve the problem. And that's enough solder. Now we're going to solder two replacement MOSFETs. All right, good news. Yes. Big Boss confirmed that the laptop did work. So Michael was right. Replacing two MOSFETs fixed the problem. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Thank you very much, Michael. Your suggestion helped. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Big Boss. Michael. Michael, Maalim, and Maalim, Maalimin. Boss of all bosses. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.